Hello all, welcome back to another video. Didn't quite know what uh, video to do this time. I did mention at the end of my last one that I was toying with the idea of making a knife with a sheath um, or also some side pouches for my rucksack, which are a bit of a work in progress at the moment. I did a video a few months ago where I was making a alcohol burning stove and I did mention my sort of fetish for <laughs> stove collection. Um, it hasn't left me and one of the things I really enjoyed using are these little twig burning stoves like the firebox, the bush box and so on. I think they're great and you know, the one that I've got, the firebox, is a real engineering sort of masterpiece really. Um, but it did get me to thinking that it's a little bit limiting. The first, first thing is this is, a, I've got both the extras here of the grill and so on. It's a real brute of a machine and it weighs well a ton. And although it's brilliant, I'm very clever, it, it just is a little bit limiting in that the square platform footprint that it's got, you can't really get that much on. You've got to either be boiling a mug or cooking something. You can't sort of do one with the other. And I was just trying to think, is there a way that I could make something that's light, not too bulky, that would actually tick both those boxes where you could actually have maybe uh, a cup boiling whilst you're cooking something at the same time. But I was also mindful of the fact that it's really important to keep bulk and weight down. So I had a little bit of a thought, but pencil to paper and first of all made a cardboard cutout of my idea. So here's the first model I made. This with my hands it gives you a little bit of a scale. It's about I don't know a foot 30 centimeters long, about 25 centimeters wide at this point and about 25 centimeters high and this obviously is the um, cardboard sort of prototype as it was and I thought I'm going to get a grill and put that on top and also in the bottom here have um, a collector tray with some slots in it for the ash to uh, fall through and I thought well that's that's um, potential I had to think about what I was going to make it from and so on and I, I settled for initially an idea of stainless steel first of all and I thought this has actually got the potential to work and so I've got a really good mate who lives in the same village as me. I'm green with envy of his talents for computer programming and inventions. And I just um, threw the idea at him and he really ran with it. And so the first thing we did was we needed to be able to put this cardboard um, model here into some sort of, I don't really know what, um, <laughs> <laughs> he did, but we put it into some sort of computer language uh, on a program with all the dimensions and so that when we decided to actually cut the thing out and go into production we'd have the exact measurements and um, effectively a computerised model of it. This is my mate Steve who is transforming my idea and the measurements of my cardboard prototype onto um, a piece of software getting the measurements all sorted out, actually seeing whether it works and producing this 3D image of what the stove will look like. We even wanted to try and get my logo on there as well. So he managed to computerize, that's a good word, a means of getting my logo on. And it started to look as though this pipe dream of mine was um, more than just a dream. And so again, him being a brilliant uh, inventor and designer, um, it's got a CNC machine, I can't remember what it stands for, but it's basically a framework with, you can either have a laser cutter or a mechanical cutter on it. And once you program the X, Y, and Z coordinates of what you need it to do and how deep you need it to go, whether it's engraving or cutting and so on, it'll actually just do the job for you. And after a lot of research, um, head scratching, trial and error, and between us, we've come up with something that I think is workable. And I'm really, really excited about it. And I'll show you what we've got. Folks, I rarely get giggly excited about something, but this is the prototype of the stove that was once just an idea and has now been manufactured thanks to um, det 
bit of determination by my friend Steve and uh, myself. We've been working hard together. It's been great fun. But when a cardboard cutout turns into something like this, it's just very exciting. So the component parts we have, we've got two ends and we decided that we wanted to be able to feed the stove through the ends as opposed to have any holes in the side here because not only does this add to the strength of the structure but it also works as a reflector once it's in place so although you've got the fire burning you've got these reflectors without any imperfections hopefully radiating the heat into the right area so slots like this collector for the fuel you're burning but also has the holes to let the ash go through and then we've got a thicker piece of steel here for the grill it's about 0.8 mil steel we've used here and this is one mil for a little bit of oomph for the grill but I am this is about the third time I put that up it took no time I'm really chuffed potentially with this as I say it's it's still the um, prototype and what we're interested in is giving it a really good prolonged burn now probably for uh, six or seven hours because I just want to check that we don't get any warping so firstly here is uh, the firebox as I said look at this it's just engineering perfection um, You've got a little bit of a sort of baffled area there where you can load up with twigs. You've got various uh, openings here to um, load up. And it's really good. It comes with um, skewers, grill, and so on um, as extras. Um, weighs a lot, uh, very thick. I think that's about 1.2 mil thick uh, stainless steel. But it does the job really well. But what I did say, was this square and slightly small footprint. I mean, if you see my hand going across it there, you get an idea. I just was a bit limited in what I could do at any one time. And so that if I was wanting to make a, a cook up with uh, various different uh, little uh, elements to the recipe, I'd have to have maybe a fire or a, a gas stove going at the same time whilst uh, I was uh, cooking something on here. Hence the idea I had for my uh, new stove. I'll just show you a couple of the options for what I was thinking about how you could cook on this. The first option is you just place whatever food you're cooking uh, on this plate here. Got some skewers here, you could have some kebabs, but one of the points I wanted to cover was you could have your cup on as well. And also it's strong enough and large enough to get a frying pan on as well. I'm having to be really quick here because the neighbours have got the paddling pool out and it's really noisy. I've got my daughter who's being extra good and quiet. She's got her Barbie boat out and is playing in absolute silence for the next couple of minutes. Hopefully dog here, I don't know, hiding away. There's, that's Pip. She's 13, she's Jack Russell. But the main thing is to get this fired up and I'm really excited about it. So without further ado, I'm just going to use a couple of these fire lighters. I've got plenty of wood ready and let's get on with it.
so far so good feeding away nicely from the ends got a good burn going got my pot of water on it's looking okay well that is boiling away it didn't take that long at all it's kept burning nicely these feed holes also provide a nice through source of air to keep the wood burning stove yet to be named. Not the whole thing, it'll be too hot. <laughs> mm. What do you think? Yummy. Good. Well, to say I'm pleased is an absolute understatement. I'm thrilled with the way that worked. I'm just trying to think, because I'm quite self-critical, I'm trying to think of any improvements that could be made on it. The holes at the ends gave airflow. They also were big enough for me to feed in quite large um, sized bits of fuel, you know, the log, the mini logs. It didn't warp it boiled the cup in good time it was at the same time i just cooked a burger as an example but i think i could get other things on there like you know a couple of bits of bacon i'm just absolutely thrilled with the way it's gone um when i thought about something like that it just seemed the sort of thing oh that's what other people can do but the more i looked into it and then i made that cardboard model and so on the more i thought this might actually work and uh, getting my head together with good old Steve who uh, helped put it all into a workable format on the computer was brilliant and then we got it cut that's why the cat's at my hello you got everything in this house there you go that's Pepper um, sorry for the slight twitch uh, battery ran out where was I anyway you probably got the idea I'm pretty thrilled with that what I'm going to do next is make a really nice case for it and once I've got that done I have a very exciting expedition where I'm going to meet up with a good pal and I think we're going to use it to out on a camp thanks very much I had a few new subscribers which is great please keep them coming I'm enjoying doing these I hope you're enjoying them too I'll see you soon